looks rather busy. I guess, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering to you? I see. So you wish to restrain me? Be warned that my ability to jettison my hand from my wrist would make holding it a poor method of restraint. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma... This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. What are those? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies! Wanna try your hand in a lucky draw? Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? Here, let's trade. In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful. Don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go. is considered polite. I've heard about that. Hope I can do this correctly. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Hmm. 
What a fascinating flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Chef de Cuisine? Talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chefs. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss, can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. We should be going. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. It's smaller than I expected. Well, technically, yes. But I did pass by once with Akihiko. So, I understand that you don't eat with utensils here? My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you, even more than the others, but I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Interesting. So this takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. 
sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Seeing is believing, I suppose. Excuse me, um, one piece of takoyaki, please. What? Oh, they're only sold in multiples? How generous. So I'll receive an entire tray for this price. So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Mm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me, Akihiko once mentioned this place. Hmm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it. I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. Anxious? Hmm. You may be right. Maybe a part of me is panicking because I feel like I'm being left behind. <sighs> Sorry, don't mind me. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. Hmm? I'm not sure what you mean. That takoyaki was absolutely delicious. We should be here again sometime. You know, there's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. Well... <sighs> Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say, what does marriage mean to you? <laughs> That's a straightforward answer. However, I'm a Kirijo. I can't let my feelings tug me around when making these decisions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, takes careful consideration. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons, but as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? Please, wouldn't you know if I did? We're living under the same roof. Besides, that's a bit... How do I say this? Romance just isn't my strong suit. like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. 
I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go. Purchase a ticket at the window and then walk in to enjoy a film. This may sound silly to you, but I've always wanted to try the whole theater experience. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel that my view was compromised in the least. It seems a lot of thought goes into the design and construction of a movie theater. It's thanks to you. I've never felt comfortable enough to come here alone. I'm sure most people don't consider this to be such a big deal. I imagine someone like Yukari would have no reservations seeing a movie by herself. She's likely more suited to riding a motorcycle than I am as well. Yes, you must have seen it when I rode in to provide support for the team. However, that wasn't my original motivation for getting it. With a motorcycle, I can go where I want, when I want, all on my own. You could say it's my modest attempt at rebellion against the many restrictions of my life. After it was damaged, I considered letting go, but ultimately I decided to have it repaired instead. I don't regret it. Even now, I spend my time tuning it whenever I can. Together? Just the two of us. Can you ride one on your own? Or do you plan to cling on behind me? <laughs> Whichever it is, you've got your work cut out for you. In any case, you have my thanks. I'm feeling a lot better now. You know, I have to wonder, when my parents went through stressful times, maybe they had moments like this too. Sorry, I know this isn't the proper place to stand around chatting, but if it's alright with you, why don't we stay here a bit longer before heading back? Sorry to drag you along on this personal venture. <sighs> no, not exactly, but thank you. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are so many books about romance that far fewer on the domestic life that comes after it. I wonder if that means the most exciting time in one's life comes prior to the wedding. Does everyone go into marriage with the expectation of losing something? The truth is, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. And some of the older members are of the opinion that a student like me isn't up to the task. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I need to show that I can take the lead, even if I have to make sacrifices to do it. Uh... Fiancé has been chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership and our engagement at the same time. Doing so will give the appearance that the company is stable both inside and out. This is the best solution for everyone involved. This was decided a long time ago. It's just going to take place a bit sooner than originally planned, that's all. This is for the best. My mother and father walked the same path, so... I won't run from my fate. Uh, you shouldn't make promises you can't keep. What could you possibly do? Still though, hearing you say that almost makes me want to believe.
Recently, I've been feeling a little hesitant about meeting up with you like this. I already made the decision to carry out my duty, but whenever I talk with you, my resolve begins to falter. Why do I feel this way when I'm with you? I think it would be best if we left off here for today. Sorry to do this after inviting you out here, but I need to head home and go over some paperwork on the partnership. Excuse me. a taste for fast food. Just the other day, I had the urge to ride my motorcycle out at night to buy some. <laughs> it's your fault that I'm having these temptations now, you know. <sighs> Do you remember when I told you I was hesitant to meet up with you like this? I'd like it if you could forget I ever said that. We both sleep under the same roof. There's no point in stressing over it. And besides, I just need to steal my resolve. Say, I have just one favor to ask. Could you continue to show me new places like this? Just until graduation. I'd like to see more of this world that I've been so blind to. Or is that too selfish a request? Thank you. Let's make some wonderful memories with what little time we have left. You've taught me so many new things. Whether you're taking command in battle or just talking with me like this. As long as I have these memories of you, I'll be alright. Or so I hope. Still young. You promised me your time. I'd like you to make good on that now. I'd been interested in seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey, that really struck a chord with me. <sighs> and then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Say, have you ever thought of running away to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? I see. So you feel that way too sometimes. I'm not saying I wish to leave everything behind. It's just that every now and then, the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company, the weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the Kirijo family name. <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to think this way. Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. <sighs> Hypothetically, let's say that I was interested in someone right now. I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Would that be wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. Uh, up to me. Ah, uh, there you are.
you are. Hey, Mitsuru! I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Um, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <sighs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. I imagine you feel the same. <laughs> You say that. Thank you. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Get lost. Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Kirijo group still needs the cooperation of my company. Doesn't it? <sighs> yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. I'm sorry. Really. Please excuse me. It's all right. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Come on, Mitsuru. Hurry up. By the way, you. Who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? You ought to know your place in society. A commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! W what? W why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M Mitsuru? W what are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... And forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiancé! Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru! It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! 
I don't want to see your face ever again! anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. And this is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. What am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. <gasps> oh. So it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just... ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but every time I've always been thinking of you. Now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. Here goes. I... I... love you. going to die of embarrassment. <gasps> you... love me too? I... I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say, I'm thankful? <sighs> My heart... <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. this for a while now, but the way you address me. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You're on a first name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. All right, I've decided. But from now on, when it's just the two of us, I'll call you by your first name. It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. In any case, today marks a change. I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. Ugh, look at all these things you're making me say. You better take responsibility for this. This is a start. Don't let go just yet. Um, 
I know what you want to say. Our maid staff assisted with the furnishings. I recognize it's a bit beyond standard for a dorm room. It's almost like a second lounge, isn't it? <laughs> Yukari says that to me all the time. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I want you to have this. It's the key to my motorcycle. I'm not going to run from my future anymore. Rather, there's no longer any need to. I don't have to think of my motorcycle as a means of escaping my feelings. Though I do regret that I won't be riding it as often anymore. I'd rather ride with you. Of course, you'll have to sit on the back until you get your license. When this is all over, I'll teach you how to ride yourself. I'll be looking forward to it. Is that so? Well, if that's what you prefer, I suppose. <laughs> Still, I'd like to be the one holding on to you now and then. <sighs> it's still a bit embarrassing to call you by your first name. But when we're alone, no one else can hear me. Your name is more than just a name to me. It's something special. If I were in danger, it would be my last desperate call for help. Right. So, um, I... I want to be with you tonight. Will you stay with me? I am Thou. Thou art I. The bomb thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Empress Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Empress within thyself. This really is embarrassing. Are you ready? You didn't invite anyone else, did you? Wait, what am I saying? Sorry, I'm having some trouble remaining calm. I'll let you decide where we should go. I thought I was accustomed to Christmas decorations by now, but for some reason they look especially beautiful today. Uh, hey, don't tease me. Well, shall we stroll around for a bit? Even a simple walk with you is quite pleasant. No manner of extravagant party could offer an experience like this. Here. I'd like you to have something. I put in a special order for you. My hope is we take some time to enjoy it together, once things have settled down. I'm glad I was able to give this to you today. Thank you.
You prepared a gift for me. Oh, wow. Do you have a persona that can read minds? Thank you. This is a gift I'll always remember. For once, I feel... calm. Like I'm finally at peace. I should probably let you know. When I see you enjoying yourself with Yukari or the others, I get... restless. But at the same time, it's a pleasure to be reminded of these feelings I have. In all honesty, I never thought I'd be allowed to be this happy. already gotten so late. When I'm with you, I sometimes find myself wishing for the clock to stop moving. What a peculiar feeling. Could it be... Uh... Um, sorry. I was just talking to myself. It's nothing. Come on, don't look at me like that. I'm going to see how flushed my face is. This place is awfully bright. Do you mind if we go somewhere else? This room feels so nostalgic, even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. The results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student. And that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. Of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? It's thanks to you that I learned to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos, Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast, especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to the school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is... a mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Come introduce yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend? Just the two of us? <laughs> who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. Go on. Try and name someone who could do the same. <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me.